<laughs> I figured I'd just poke in every now and then. All right. Yeah, get a little cozy. All right. So I, I don't expect to have much in the way of live chat. Um, and we'll see if we can get some some people to kind of share this as well. So um, for people that don't know, um, we're starting a new program. It's it's going to be called It Came From The LCS. Um, we're working on graphics and all that good stuff now. Um, and it's going to be filmed in and around Utah comic stores. Uh, we've got a pretty rich, I think, and, and a pretty diverse comic book community around here. And we've, we've introduced you guys to um, Charles from the Nerd Store and, and Dr. Voltz and also, of course, Greg from Black Cat Comics. Um, we'll be going up north and hitting some of, the, some of the stores up that way as well. But I wanted to take a minute and introduce all of the viewers to uh, Jonathan and, and James. We did that in order of age there. <laughs> but they are... They are the owners of Hive Comics, which is not a traditional comic book store, but but they're movers and shakers in the Utah comic community and um, have some great insights, especially when it comes to newer books, indie books, variants and things like that. So um, why don't you why don't you tell us a little bit about your about your business concept and, and what it is that you guys do? So we uh we uh i don't know we we both appreciate uh fine art on uh on comic book covers um so we've kind of gone out of our way to uh make sure that we're we're putting putting work that we like on covers by doing variants and exclusives and you know occasionally we reach out with other local comic shops in the area and we team up with them to do some some really awesome work on uh on some great books so now you guys have done in the past. Like you've done quite a few books with the Nerd Store. Yeah. Um, but you've done also done work with Greg in the past as well. Is that right? Okay. Um. So, how many how many exclusives do you guys do? Let's say on an average in, in 2020, how many how many were you doing a month? On average in 2020, two to two to three. Four. Yeah. Two, uh, probably about three, yeah. about three a month. Okay, and yeah. and the way you guys the way you guys do your exclusives, I I really think it's cool because you you don't go for the flashiest. I mean, you've got some big artists coming up, and you've got some great artists, but you don't go for the the now artists. You don't go for the ones that are um, you know cranking out four exclusives a month. You, you don't go for those guys. You you go for newer artists. Um, and you got one right now that is just knocking it out of the park. Uh, Maria Key, just yeah. beautiful artwork. Um, I, I was going to do some overlays, and I, I should have brought one of those up because her artwork has been spectacular. Um, as a matter of fact, we'll pop over here real quick. Yeah, you guys don't need to look at all my surfing that I shouldn't have been doing. That's not it. Okay, so this is your website, Hive Comics. And it's funny because we were just discussing uh, aftermarket and, and stuff earlier today, James and I were. Yeah. Um, so this is your berserker. Um, James and I different on this. I think this is the best berserker cover that I've seen, uh, hands down. Um, but it's really funny because I was looking at this, and then we've got a finished sale. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but you got a finished sale for thirty-five bucks on the yeah. first the first one to sell on on eBay. Yeah, we're still uh, we're still small enough that uh, you know a lot of times we won't even run out of books, but they'll be selling for double or triple on eBay. Uh, our our customers are smart enough to know to that other people would like the covers and they get them out there and in a market that we don't necessarily want to mess with. So they, they definitely capitalize. Yeah. I mean, I could, I could make a living just flipping your books. <laughs> um, so I wanted to show the, the, and this is kind of a scroll through of a bunch of different covers that they've got. 
Do you have the Cult of Dracula up there? Yeah, you're going to want to go to... Uh, oh, the there we go. Yeah. So this is the Maria Key Cult of Dracula. Now, I don't know if I haven't looked at that one on the secondary market, but that is a spectacular car cover. Yeah. Are we going to be seeing more from Maria from you guys in the future? Yeah, she'll be doing the... Uh, so it's a five issue series, six issue series, and she'll be on that entire run. And then we've got what else we got coming out with her? Cherry Blackbird. Yeah. So we'll have another cover, another new title coming out with her on the cover. Um, and then once the run gets close to finishing with that, we're going to try and put her on a few other projects, some bigger ones. And this is another one. Yeah. By the Horns. Yeah, her first her first published cover. Really? Yeah. That that's spectacular. So I've been really impressed with it. And then you guys do, um, your print runs are really small too. Yeah. So you're not you're not cranking out fifteen hundred mm -hmm. books. You're you're doing five hundred thousand book batches. Mostly. With, Mostly so we got. We got a big book coming up in a couple of weeks. Yeah. That's way bigger print run than we've done. Well, you, you, that's contractually, you have to do that many, right? Yeah. 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 So that's why you're giving away who your book is. Well, yeah, that's, that's that. But so on, on your indie books, you like to keep the lower print runs and, and that, obviously does that drives the market on your secondary market for sure um and i like the way that you're you market um you've got loyal customers yeah i mean you've got a private group that, that your customers are in and they're extremely loyal to your brand i i i don't think i've ever seen that with any comic you know comic shop anywhere so kudos to you guys on that one. That's a, a major win. Thanks, man. So yeah, we, love, uh, we love our group. They're they're good people. Our business page is full of good people too. Uh, yeah. So and you guys are on where where can people find you? Uh right there on the screen, www.hivecomics.com. And uh we're on Instagram, Instagram and Facebook, we're on Twitter. Just search Hive Comics and look for the logo or one of our amazing books. We sometimes will swap out cover photos for a title we got coming out or that came out. And we're, we're pretty easy to find. Okay. And I, I don't want the I don't want the viewers to think that you guys are a one trick pony because you're really not. Um, you know, the, these guys are just as comfortable discussing Silver Age, Golden Age books. Um, James was telling me today some uh, spirits that he found um, that, he, that he's got coming in, like real classic, yeah. um, hard to find stuff. So if you guys had that um, stuff, <laughs> is that that's the one I pressed for you, isn't it? Yeah, that's when you pressed. July 1941. And you got another handful of those on the way. Nine more, yeah. Nice. <laughs> So they, they know their books, they they know moderns, they know indies, they know you know the, the silver golden age stuff. So if you guys ever have questions, the I mean this this is the brain trust that we have in Utah to answer these questions. So feel free to shoot us a message and, and hit us up anytime. You can find uh, their their books at hivecomics.com. Um, and these books are showing you tonight. You guys still have Berserker left. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're running along with Berker and a few others, but they're still they're still out there. And they had probably the single best cover for uh, Stray Dogs number one, and that that's one that you're sold out of. Right? Yeah, and that was a good. Uh, that one was a partnership with uh, with the Nerd Store, right? And the the Nerd Store, well. Yeah, and the Nerd Store does have a few of those left at like they fifteen do. bucks. So, yeah. and and if you're not if you don't think if you've read stray dogs number one you don't think it's getting optioned you're high like this book's getting optioned by yeah, somebody so yeah that's gonna that's gonna be one 
a one that you're going to be flipping for a couple hundred down the road for sure. So, all right, guys. Well, I appreciate you coming on and chatting with us a little bit. I uh, hope to be seeing a lot more of you on the channel in the future. And like I said, if anybody's got questions for the guys, just shoot them over here and we'll make sure they get asked. Yeah. Thanks good. for having us on, Eric. Thanks, man. All right. Thanks, guys. See ya. Have a good one.